Hello friends, this is Menak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel. So friends, in today's video, we'll show you a very simple method of importing DXF files into the Stat Pro. So friends, usually we, when we work on Stat Pro, we uh, insert the coordinates or you insert the inbuilt grid lines to create the grid lines. So that is a very tedious process, but there is a process in which we can make a DXF file in the AutoCAD itself. And after that, when we import it in the Stat, it's very easy for us. So let's see how this is done. So first of all, the basic thing which you need is your beam column plan. So we'll uh, go into more details of how to create this beam column plan. Now this has been created simply because this is the basic plan of uh, the building and you have to create the center line diagrams and we'll import the center line of all this into the particular software. So let's see how this is done. So I'll press UN enter and you can see the units of this particular file. The units is in inches, but instead when we we'll convert eventually that will be done in your MM. So we'll do that. So let's proceed first. So let me take a line here and let me just find out the center of this. So for finding the center of this, you can just take a rectangle and you can draw it here, a rectangle here. And once the rectangle is done, we can take a line here and we can just take a center line here like this. And we can extend it from this end also. So this will be a center line for this line. So similarly, I can uh, also put it in a layer you Can just uh, open this and create a new layer and call this as your CL. That's what will be imported into your stat file eventually. So we are just creating this layer. And after that, just close this. Later, we'll put them all in the layer of CL. So here, the let's modify, let's modify the remaining things. So we'll just copy this from here. And this is the next grid. When is a five inch wall, you can place it on either sides, depending upon where you want the location of the beam to be. So there are two uh, types of walls here. The outer wall is of 10 inch and the inner wall is of five inches. There can be different sizes of the walls. So you can have to adjust accordingly. So let me place one at the center. So if you don't get the center here, I'll follow the similar process. Just draw a rectangle here and then you'll get the center and we'll just copy this and point of copying. Please note the point of copying so that we have minimum, you know, uh, trimming and all. So this is the center line for this. It will cover both the 10 inch wall and the five inch wall. So the next center line can be made here. So I'm taking this. And by the way, if you're facing visibility problems, I can turn off the grid by this. And I'll do up to this much. And this one I can do at this center. And this one also. And draw a rectangle. And I'll place it at my center. Like this I can do. So once this is done, let me check whether there is any horizontal, uh, you know, center line remaining. No, there is no horizontal center line remaining. So let's go for the vertical ones. So for the vertical ones also, we'll just take a line, very simple process we are following. And we'll just start from here to here. Once this is done, we'll just copy this. And there is a secondary, you know, portion here, secondary beam portion, just to drop it here. Another one will drop it here and another one we want it at the center. So if you want, you can just draw a rectangle to get the center here. And when you draw the rectangle, you'll have the center here. We'll just copy this from here to here. And here also you can just move the rectangle. Copy it from here to here and then copy this here and here. Now check whether there is anything remaining. So if there is nothing remaining, we'll just select this and select this. And after that, you can just put it in the layer of your center line. So to distinguish them, you can put it in a different color. 
and also uh, different like you can have a dotted line also just to distinguish them so as you can see if this particular thing is not working you can try okay as you can see here this is a little bit lighter color so the center line has been done and after the center line has been done you can just import this file create a new file here this, this will be for our stat press f7 to turn off the grids and here we'll just define the units here units will be our uh, we'll do this in mm okay and uh, we can just set other things also we'll go to annotate and just say, say, you know modify this also we'll do new and we'll do d100 simply just to modify a new dimension style continue and here i will just change this unit first decimal and then zero it's working in mm okay and do this as set current so units and uh, have been changed so for now just uh, you can change the text also here that will be good you can do new t100 okay and height will define as 150 font size will take as times new roman and apply and then set current and in the dimension style also we can modify this and uh, text will take us t100 symbols and arrows arrow size will take us 150 and then aligned with dimension line these things we'll do and after that we'll just close this so after closing this we'll draw a line so that that is that there is a 10 inch thick wall so 10 inch if you convert it into you know your um, mm it will be just turn on the ortho it will be 254 mm so let's draw a line of 254 mm done escape and after that what we will do we'll just select this entire thing ctrl plus c and then paste it here and this is in feet and inches we'll just align this with this so that we can convert the entire thing al enter first point of the 10 inches second point first point second point space or enter press space or enter and then scale object space to an alignment point yes so and after this is done what will you do we'll just use your the to check the dimensions as you can see it should be 254 and as you can see this is 254 so the exact dimensions has been set here so after that what you can do is we can select this particular files or this particular lines and we can trim them so for trimming them what we can do is we can press tr and we can trim them here and then trim this also if you're using a you know lower version of autocad you, you have to use tr double enter In the new version you have tr so after that we'll do l a y o double f lay off and select this turn it off and after that we'll just use our trim command for the proper center line So we want the center line which is made in stat. That's what we are working on here. And wherever the beams will go, wherever we'll need beams, we will have to make that. So this is done. And after that, if you want to check uh, whether you want to delete any beams or not, so for that just turn on the lay on so these are the walls if you want to delete any beams 
uh, you can do it right, right now so this is a secondary beam we don't want to go up to this so we can uh, you know select this and do it up to the intersection that is uh, this one is the intersection okay intersection between the two grid lines so this one is the intersection so this is done and uh, if we want it this uh, center line if you uh, for the better visibility you can do one thing just to change this color to something red or something okay then close this and then to do this select similar and then just to do this as bilayer so now we can work easily so after that let's see what the remaining center line we can um, you know edit so this will be a main main this must be a main beam so for defining the main beams and uh, primary beams also uh, what we can do we can define the column positions and because after you have the column positions you will know the main beam and the secondary beam so let me let us make a column here first of all let's take a column size of 10 inch into 10 inch so we'll take 254 comma 254 and just a normal column we are taking let's hatch this we'll hatch it like this and we'll simply copy this to some portions where we want the columns so we want a column here and we'll want a column here just turn on the ortho and we'll just place the columns properly and another one here another one should be here so i'll fast for the video now here we have a particular this primary beam so if you want we can have this connection here or else we can keep this as a total slab so let's see what we else we can have so definitely this will not be present here we'll delete this first and we'll del delete this this also so this is the portion and use the normally just use the command to put it at the intersection here so this particular like this we can give this one also you can just put it at this intersection so this is the total uh, you know thing i think we have missed uh, trimmed one by mistake we'll just copy this and uh, paste it here and then it's then let's trim the this part and we want it up to this much so like this you have you know, all the beams if you want to check whether the, any the, the intersections are properly done or not now we can use the command just uh, do the layer to center line and use the command lay off and then just see this okay if you have anything missing you can again trim this properly and observe this so once this is properly done so we can proceed ahead so we'll select all the center lines from here move this file from here and we'll do lay on once again and after that we can either save this or we can also delete this so what we'll do, we'll just uh, create a new file here and take do un enter and here we'll just do this as mm. We set it the units in you know millimeters, okay, and we'll simply copy this control plus c and then paste it here. When we have pasted it here in the mm units. And after that, I'll save this file. First of all, I'll save the DWG in your uh, desktop. And after that, I'll also do this save as DXF. For that, I'll can use the DXF out. You can also use the save as option. So this this is I like here add, and I'm saving this in AutoCAD 2000 DXF. So I'll save this, 
And after I've saved this, I'll just close this because closing this is necessary. And after that, I'll open my stat pro. I'll open a new file in my stat. Just open a new. I've had a uh, close the old one. So select space here and meter and kilonewton. Next, I'll create the file. So we'll just create finish. So new file has been created. I don't need this now because I'm going to import this. I don't need this coordinates also. I'll go to file and uh, I'll go to this option of import. And after that, I'll import the 3D DXL. Import and then I'll just open my file here. I'll select Y up because in AutoCAD Z is up or Z is up. So I will select Y up here and then click on OK. Meter, kilonewton and then OK. And then your file will get imported. So as you can see, the center line diagram has been imported. But now you can see that there are no nodes here. So how to create these nodes? Let's find out. So for selecting the nodes, what you have to do is just have to select the entire file here or the entire thing here. And after that, we'll go to geometry and then intersect selected members, highlight, enter, and then again go to geometry, intersect selected members, intersect. Okay, 16 new beams are created. And now, as you can see, these are separate. And if you just press Ctrl or Shift plus K, you see the node number, Shift plus N are the node number, and Shift plus B will be the beam number as well. So, as you can see, beams and this nodes are created. And after this, nodes are created, then you can use uh, create your columns and all. And after that, you can use translation repeat. And that is the other steps which we have shown in other videos, and also create more videos to show that. So if you found this video useful, make sure you subscribe to our channel and also share with your friends. And if you want professional training from us, you can do that using the link which has been given in the description. Thank you. Bye-bye.